see what he did to it. Schools out and many families will be hitting the road for summer road trips. Now, a Michigan woman is hoping to put some old-fashioned fun back into those trips. She wants you to get to know Michigan like the back of your hand. And moms and dads may be saying she's a genius. Ah, the family road trip. We pack up the car with the kids and hit the road. But a quick trip around YouTube and there it is. The expectations versus the reality of road trips. The expectation. The wheels on the bus go round and round. The reality. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, girl. Hot. We're going to turn this car around if you guys don't knock it off. Even the movies have gotten in on the fun. Are we there yet? No. I don't want to be in the car anymore. I want to go home. Michelle Maltese wants to reinvent the road trip. We all hold our hand up. Yes. Where we live, work, and play, we're on vacation. So why not use that for some family fun? These are not other events. No. <laughs> These are her Michigan mid maps. Turn it, turn it like this. Okay. There you go. Providing fun and education. All the major roads are on there and some smaller ones. So this is something that hopefully they're going to um, put their cell phone down and use it for the games that uh, are in the book as well as their own imagination to create their road trip on the map and um, highlight the things that they saw in the Michigan. They can mark their route on the MIT maps and use two pages of reusable stickers to mark where they've been and what they've seen. And there's information in the book and a little bit of history about everything from our Great Lakes, our Michigan lighthouses, to the Mackinac Bridge, the Sioux Locks, Pictured Rocks, and more. Parents, they need that refresher. They're like, oh yeah, I forgot. It's appealing to kids, but adults really like it as much as the kids. It's like for staycations, too. You don't have to go far away. In fact, she has an amazing sights section that includes the world's largest tire in Allen Park and the giant boxing arm of Joe Lewis downtown. And some of her fun places to go, the Yankee Air Museum in Belleville, the Fort Rouge Factory Tour in Dearborn, and the riverfront downtown, where we stroll to tell Michelle's story. It's like life 2.0 for sure. For years, Michelle owned a marketing and design agency, but a horrible car accident set her life on a new path. I can't lay down and just give up. So I still have all creativity and all the drive, so to start doing it a different way. Her goal? For families to reconnect. And despite Brick and ABC's The Middle, according to my book, we should be passing by a log cabin that Abraham Lincoln spent the night at during his run for presidency. Then let's keep our eyes peeled. That's okay, they have a picture. She wants you to learn about the sites and then put the book down and enjoy them up close and personal. And oh yeah, grab some selfies along the way. And this morning I'm joined by the creator of Michigan Mid Maps, Michelle Maltese. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. joining us. Yeah, I like that. You have the, the, the mitt on. So yeah, tell me, how does this fit? Because this is not just sort of fun, it's also educational. Does this fit into sort of a, a classroom setting as well? Uh, and we received plenty of phone calls from educators and librarians um, as, far away, far, as far away as Colorado wow. and uh, Hilton Head. Yeah, and, South Carolina. Yep, yeah, and they were studying Michigan, so as well as Michigan uh, educators, wow. asking for help putting it into the classroom. So we reached out to Better Made NACO with the first version, mm -hmm. who gave us thousands of dollars to help those classrooms out. When that money ran out, I then donated some of my profits. But this time around, I'm asking for help uh, for people who want to uh, help classrooms. And, you know, our, you said, uh, or I guess in Joanne's speech, your background is in marketing. How did you come up with something that's not just great, but so educational? Hmm. Well, it was really um, taking a look at what we all do. We all hold right. our hands up, right? Right. And I live here, and I vacation here, and I thought, how cool, what if we were to put Michigan brands on there? Mm -hmm and all the popular stuff that we, you know, go to the store and purchase, Fago, um, Jiffy, right. et cetera. And I thought, well, there's a revenue driver right there. Okay. Maybe I can get their support and, uh, and then be able to feature destinations and the CVVs. But doing that, or wanting to do that, and actually achieving it with a new product isn't easy to do. So how's the so, road been with getting this to, to market? Because you guys are in some stores now, right? Mm -hmm. We had a very successful um, launch with the first product, which was called Happy Trails Michigan with Michigan Mint Maps. Okay. It was in all, all the Meyer stores and Aco stores in the state of Michigan and then some smaller ones. This time around, Meyer kind of has changed their way of doing business. They want me to go through distributor. So I'm trying to keep it in smaller right. Uh, retailers. Right now we have Westbourne. Um, we hope we're getting Barnes & Noble on board. And ultimately the BEP, which is the state of Michigan, so it will be available and the rest stops and welcome centers and state buildings, et cetera. 
we're running out of time, but I cannot let you go without showing us the, the maps in oh, action. Put it okay. So this side is uh, our Michigan brands and retailers and destinations that are supporting us. And this side is uh, the Michigan Roadmap, which you can use pen, pencil, or crayon to draw your route and some decals to stick down so it becomes a keepsake for your family. All right. A uh, great memory of family Thanks. road trip. Michelle Maltese, thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. Appreciate it. Thank Alicia? You. I tell you what, my nieces and nephews are going to get a big kick out of that. Yes. Uh, love that idea. Hey, still to come in our next half hour, bathing suit scene.